Welcome to Mastering React JS, a video course by Pact Publishing. In this course, we'll learn the basics of React JS, explore the best practices while building an example e commerce admin application. My name is Simon Heuber. I've been working with user interface engineering for the last 10 years and with React JS since it came out in 2013. I'm a co author of Developing a React JS Edge, and my big passion is exploring functional programming. For user interfaces. This is the very first video in which we'll get an overview of the course. We'll look at the course as a whole and topics in each section. This course is divided into nine sections. For each video in each section, a Git branch has been made available with the final code example. Throughout the videos, we'll be using ECMAScript 6, also called ECMAScript 2015. This is the newest iteration of the JavaScript language currently being implemented by browser vendors. We set up and use the Babel transpiler to be able to program in this way. CSS used for styling the example application is out of scope of the video series but can be found in the Git branches. In the first section, we get set up with React and run through the basics. In section two, we dive into our example application and e-commerce admin system and build the first screen. Section 3 expands on our first screen by exploring how we can effectively write unit tests for React components. Next, in Section 4, we'll load data from the server and explore how Ajax fits into a React application. We also look at state manipulation and immutable data structures. Then, we'll look at performance optimization and debugging React components in Section 5. In Section 6, we add another screen to our example application thus exploring client-side routing and charting with D3. Then in section 7, we reuse our components and routing code on the server to provide a faster user experience as well as supporting SEO. In section 8, we look at an alternative use case of React by using components to write email templates. Finally, in section 9, we set up React Native in Xcode and use React to write a small iOS application. To get the most out of this course, you should have basic knowledge about JavaScript and web development. Knowledge about ECMAScript 6 would be beneficial, but it's not required. I'm excited to explore these topics with you. In this video, we covered the topics of the course and listed the preferred knowledge and skills to complete the course effectively. In the next video, we'll look at a React development environment setup. 